going on, folks? Uh, so, there is someone by the name of Adama and Diallo, and she is uh, a nurse. Um, so, you go on Web MD Care, she's listed um, as an MD uh, in Ohio, and is to According to this uh, profile, it says she's a certified nurse practitioner who specializes in family medicine, provides care at Eastland Family Practice LLC in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, she graduated from Ohio University with her master's degree in family nurse practitioner. She's a board certified with the ANCC. At Eastland Family Practice, she works with individuals of all ages, groups from children to adults. She has 15 years of working experience in healthcare. I'm trying to figure out where it says that she was in med school. I'm trying to figure that out. I don't see that part. But the reason why I'm speaking about her is the fact that she, uh, you know, who is not Black American, was calling a Black American person that was, um, you know, where she worked. She called them the N word. Um, with the ER, uh, she said that they were lazy, um, living off the government, they were slaves. And I'm telling you folks, you know, this is not what I think all, um, you know, Africans think of us, but a lot of them have this belief towards black Americans of us, uh, being slaves, of us being, uh, these different things. And it just shows you that all folks that have our skin tone um, are not allies and are not like us, so to speak. And, you know, people online are saying that, you know, it looks like her license got suspended or is, there, is inactive. But, um, you know, according to various outlets, uh, people are demanding that the state of Ohio uh, revoke the nursing license even though someone said they looked it up and saw that it was inactive. Uh, but it's very interesting to see how folks, their thought process towards us. So uh, many people are online seeing the video of her saying these derogatory things towards Black Americans. Um, and then I also looked online and according to Care Source, they have terminated their relationship with her. I'm reading this in real time, it said we reviewed the incident that took place Care source does not tolerate discrimination of any kind. It took appropriate and immediate action. Our relationship with the provider has been terminated in accordance with the terms of the contract. Uh, and this was from the Ohio Alliance for Social Justice. They were responding to them in that regard. So uh, again, folks, th this is uh, someone that really said what she felt. Um, you know, a lot of people say, oh, she was just upset or just angry. Out of the mouth, the heart speaks. So all this stuff that she has stated towards um, Black Americans, that was what she felt uh, internally. And it's interesting that folks will come here from somewhere else, a uh, different country, uh, and have issues with a body of people that had it not been for that body of people, and the ancestors that we've come from that put in the work and laid the foundation, uh, you wouldn't even be able to come over here and do the things that you do and have access to the resources that you have access to. I'm sure on her, uh, any census report or any application, she has used the Black uh, American um, section, but it, it shows that uh, what her true beliefs are uh, towards our people. So everyone knows your name. It's all online. And people are going over and saying, well, they don't think she's, you know, from this area. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, this is all over the line. And got a picture up. And that is what is going on. She boldly said everything she said. It didn't sound like an accident or, or slip up. She boldly said those things uh, about our people. Um, and that is what she felt in her heart. And at the end of the day, uh, you know, 
it looks like they're probably going to uh, probably going to really cost her a career in the health field. 